story that we launched a new franchise inviting local news reporters to share their favorite stories and people making a difference in their communities. It's amazing. I love this part of the show. Um, at the end of the season, though, we're going to ask you, the viewers, to choose the story that you love most. This is Good Neighbor of the Year. Good, good, so Get it, Jesse. For today's stop, we're visiting the city of brotherly love, Philadelphia. And joining us now is NBC10 Philadelphia's Francis Wang, along with Tyree Glasgow, the creator of the Young Chances Foundation. Y'all give it up for us. So meet Mike, meet Zoe, hey everybody. Hey I was bragging on y'all earlier to them. Um, so Francis, explain what the Young Chances Foundation is and how important it has been and still is for Philadelphia. Well, I love the name Young Chances so much. Mm -hmm. He's going to tell you the personal meaning behind it. But it really is about Tyreek giving young people a better chance at life. His foundation does everything. Everything from a physical community center that provides food and essentials, diapers, books, to a community neighborhood garden where people can grow their own fruits and vegetables and really take pride mm -hmm. in being from that community, to after school programs and summer does care. everything. I looked Literally, at it, they cover everything, young everything. and old. Exactly, yeah. and it's so yeah. beautiful that we're known as the city of brotherly love and sisterly affection, uh, because <laughs> I look at Tyreek as that big brother to so many young kids, mm -hmm. teaching them things that he wished he knew when he was a child, and giving them the opportunities and chances that maybe he didn't get growing up. I know, so I was, that's a great segue. Um, I was gonna say, is this like maybe what you wish you, may, you might have had whenever you were a kid, that brotherly love had somebody kind of looking out and kind of helping guide you? Well, for me growing up in South Philadelphia, my grandmother and mother raised me. They gave me everything that I needed, but you know, I, I took the easy road out. I was good with numbers, you know, talking with people and networking and doing those things, but I took the, the, the way that a lot of people in our community do. They take the way that we're not taught, and that's the fast way. And that fast way cost me. It cost me being shot 11 times in my head, back, leg, and arms. It cost me going to jail for five years. And in jail- what? Wait, I'm sorry. I didn't know that part. Yes. Shot 11 times? Yes. Oh my gosh. So that's normal. Growing up in the communities that we live in, gun violence happens every day. People are shot every day. And I thought that was my life's resume. That's what we do in our community. That's, you go to jail, you get wow. shot. There is, there is no hope for tomorrow because you just want to survive today. And while I was in jail, I lost my grandmother. And it, it really hurt me, but it, it gave me that guidance to stop pointing the finger and to look in the mirror and try to have my community follow me in a positive way. It's, that's incredible. So before starting the foundation, you had your fair share of trouble, as you were saying, right? Is, that kinda ha is it kind of cool, though, because now you turn it around and you get to almost have a testimony to all these kids that are you, right? Like Yeah. And... You know, it's, growing up, it, it, it was hard, you know. It, it was hard to, to do this, the things, but today we provide those things that we didn't have. Uh, through our partnership with the police department, we did over 75 uh, community events. Uh, we focused with our schools, faith-based initiatives, um, churches, mosques, to really give out food. We served over 11,000 households mm. during the, the pandemic. We didn't worry about the funding. We just knew that people had to eat. And through that, we gave away over Half a, pound, half a million pounds of food, 5,000 pounds of food to make sure that the people in our community have fresh fruits and vegetables during the time when it, it was needed. Man. I said, and you, you guys, y'all go all out, right, for the holidays? Yes. So every year uh, we do our 27th Street um, Miracle on 27th Street with our community organization. If it's a home that needs to be remodeled, if it's a bill that needs to be paid, or just having some relaxing time, you know, giving them a gift card or something, it's something that we like to do. Because it's, it's easy to point the finger at the problem, but when you look in the mirror, it, it, it's a smile that comes on their face, and that's what we want to do. Oh, and that feels good. It's so hard to beat what you can't see, and I can only yeah. imagine how many people you've inspired in your community and beyond to, to by you and what you're doing and who you are. It's really, it's amazing. You know, the other thing, too, is like, there's a box on virtually every job application, and you, you have to check it if you've if you've done time. And it just seems like as a as a society, we got to figure out. You know, you either paid your debt or you didn't. You know, and if people are going to yeah. come out and have a shot, clean slate. But we don't give them a clean slate, no. yeah. so we better give them a lifeline. Yeah, no, that's true too. Like even having the opportunity, we've had actually several organizations on this show that, that help out because of that. It's hard for people to even have that opportunity or chance after you get out because nobody wants to see it after you see that, 
that box that's been that's checked. Right. But that's not true, not nobody. We've had people on here that, that do do that, and it's, it's incredible. So before the break, Tyreek shared the vast and life-changing ways his foundation helps uplift everyone in his Philadelphia neighborhood. And right now we have Francis's colleague, Sheila Watko, at the Young Chances Foundation Community Engagement Center, where lots of activity has taken place. What's up, Sheila? It's great to see you again. What's going on over there? Kelly, hi. It is great to see you as well. Don't they look fantastic? I have to say, it's a bit of a chilly day here in Philly, only about 44 degrees. But as you can see, we are staying warm with the festive spirit today. Now, as you know, a big part of what Tyreek does with Young Chances Foundation is building bridges and partnerships with the local police force who work in the area. So right now, first of all, I would like to introduce you to Officer Kim Hickinson. She and her colleagues work right around this area. Officer Kim, what kind of impact have you gotten to see Tyreek? Tyreek's work make on this community? I think the impact that we have seen here in this community has been invaluable. Um, the work that we do with Young Chances Foundation goes from feeding our elderly population to participating in summer camp programs to um, doing hot meals Tuesdays and Thursdays to um, community conversations that are facilitated by our PDEC, but in partnership with Young Chances, they are more real time and topics that the community wants to tackle. So all I can say is we appreciate and we value the relationship that we have with Young Chances Foundation. And there's something really remarkable too, because there's a gun violence issue in Philadelphia, but tell me about the changes that you've seen with Young Chances in this neighborhood. I'm gonna say within the last five years, we've seen a decrease in shootings and homicides just from focusing on this PSA in general. Um, so just the work that we do, we are more visible, we're more engaged, and we, again, can't put a value on what that has brought to the police department. Absolutely. Sheila, I know that you have someone else there that you wanna introduce us to, right? I do. I'm really excited to introduce you to my new friends over here. This is Erica and her son, Jaliel. Erica's whole family plays a big role at the center. And I know that, Erica, last year you experienced a personal hardship. If you wouldn't mind, can you tell us a little bit about that? Yes, last year I had electrical fire in my son's bedroom just before Christmas. Um, we're trying to build, you know, everything up from there. And Tyreek really supported you through that. I know that and that you have a special holiday message for him. So what would you like to say Ty to Tyreek this Christmas season? Tyreek, thank you so much for what you do for my family and the community. Um, I really appreciate everything you do. And this is a nice ha safe haven for the kids. And thank we've got, you very much. We've got a little nice update as well. What are you doing this, this season for Christmas? For well, this Christmas, we have up a Christmas tree. I would... Um, I have gifts for my kids, for all four of my kids to open up their gifts because I like to see the expressions on their face when they open their present, and I will cook, cook them a big um, Christmas dinner. That sounds delicious. It sounds already perfect and a beautiful way to celebrate Christmas, but we actually have a little something for you to add to the festive celebrations. So yeah. as part of the 27th Street Holiday Miracle, Tyreek and everyone at Young Chances Foundation has a very special surprise for you two and your whole family. We've got Santa and his helpers here to help us do this yeah. big reveal. So if everyone wants to count down together, we'll do a three, two, one, and they're gonna do a reveal for us. Ready, everyone? Three, three two, two, one! one. truck is absolutely filled to the brim with wrap packages. We have furniture for your new place. We've got a lot of fun kitchen appliances, toys, a game station, a big TV. How are you feeling right now? Happy. <laughs> <laughs> I know that you've dealt with a lot in the last year. You've kind of had a hard time. You've had to rebuild and you've done such an amazing job for your family and with volunteering here at the center with Tyreek. So tell me how, how this is making you feel, especially during the holiday season. What does this mean to you? It means a lot to me, to me and my kids. It means very a lot to me. Thank this you. is really special. So Merry Christmas to both of you, Merry your whole family. Merry Christmas to Tyreek and Kelly. Merry Christmas to you back in Los Angeles. Oh, thank you. Y'all enjoy. Merry Christmas. Thank you so much, Sheila, Erica, Jalil, and Kim. Yo, that's so, it's so beautiful. They're going to have a good time with that game system. I like a game system. <laughs> um, so, Tyreek, we are all so impressed with how you're lifting up the Grays Ferry neighborhood in Philadelphia. Our sponsor, Netspin, is all about empowering people to achieve their financial dreams by offering access to innovative financial services. The Netspin All Access mobile account helps people manage their money. They love your passion for improving your community. So to help you continue your work, Netspin is giving the Young Chances Foundation $25,000. Yeah. <laughs> 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 
Oh my gosh! Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you for coming. Thank you for being here with us, everybody.